All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Budget Hearthstone. Um, so I wanted to make a deck. Um, that was a value mage. Um, mainly due to like the efficiency of cards like Life Sentence, um, where you can get rid of cards that might be problematic. Um, for four mana. Um, and that's skipping any death rattles they might have, or, you know, things of that nature. Um, because this doesn't actually kill them. It literally just poofs them out of the game, like some kind of magic spell, which I suppose that's why we're playing Mage, um, with this card. Um, the other really efficient cards are Deathborn, um, uh, where you get to basically try your best at clearing the board and get yourself some skeletons for each minion you kill. Um, that does include your minions as well, so if you have your... Have yourself some skeletons, you can kill them off, get the death rattle, and then summon more skeletons with Deathborn. So it's a really nice, like, just kind of, but it's somewhere between a value engine and a board clear. So, fantastic. Um, and then we got, um, so well, for, well, basically for the early game, we just have some really efficient cards, you know, like Dredger Staff, um, Shivering Sorceress, and Suspicious Alchemist, you know, stuff like that. Just... Pound for pound, um, the cards in this deck are going to outvalue your opponent. Um, like Build a Snowman, for example. This is three cards in one. It starts off as Build a Snowman, and then it goes to Build a Snow Brute, and then it goes to Build a Snow Gur. Which, uh, so it goes from three mana to six mana to nine mana, um, respectively. And, um, and yeah, just being able to get that much value out of one card, um, one card, you know, three creatures, you know, tons of stuff to do is just mind-boggling um, how helpful that happens to be. Um, we also have Renathal, um, so our starting health is 40 um, to give us a little more time to get the full value out of our creatures. Um, it also means that it'll be harder for aggro to go ahead and rush us down um, because we are, you know, I mean, and we do have, you know, insurances against that as well with Plated Beetle. Um, you know, and, and other things, uh, like, uh, Cold Case, for example, also really helps shut down aggro decks. Um, but yeah, um, other than that, we got, uh, you know, a lot of board clears, because those tend to be a very efficient and value-oriented cards. Like Fire Sale, for example, you can throw this away when you don't need it for a different card. But, uh, um, with the tradable mechanic, of course. And, uh... But Fire Sale in general, just being able to deal three to everything, you're probably going to kill off some enemy stuff, and uh, it's going to be fantastic. Um, let's see, any other cards um, before I can just get into things? Um, oh yeah, so your late game package consists of Drake Fire Amulets and Caligos, um, you know, sometimes Flame Strikes tossed in there. And uh, basically, the way Caligos works is you can drop him on turn nine. And your first spell each turn costs zero. So even the turn he comes down, you can play him on turn nine. You can get a free Drake Fire Amulet to summon two more dragons. And just it's it's just insane. It just spirals out of control so, so quickly. He also discovers a spell upon coming in. So you can grab something else value-oriented. Or maybe like a board clear you happen to need in that particular instance. And it's just insanity. So, um... So yeah, um, even with a sparse late game, relatively, I mean, we just have the Drake Fire Amulets and the Caligos, I still think it's enough value to go ahead and end the game. Um, and uh, and yeah, other than that, we have cards that cycle their, themselves, you know, automatically becoming like a two-for-one almost, you know, like Azure Drake and Famished Fool. Um, the latter of those, Famished Fool, gets, um, you get to draw three instead of one um, if four minions die while you're holding him. Which, uh, which happens more often than you would think. With all the uh, value creatures we have, um, we are going to be fighting for the board a lot. And sometimes our stuff is going to die. And that's going to go ahead and buff our Famished Fool. Um, you know, let us draw more cards off of it. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else in this deck that really needs explaining? I mean, they're really just all um, high value, high impact cards for the mana cost. And that is what I was hoping to uh, to hinge my bets on here. So, uh, so yeah. Let's go ahead and fire up into a game uh, with Value Mage. 
and uh, and yeah, guys, I'm hoping I'm hoping we can get at least uh, two wins out of three. Um, because I mean, you know, you no one wants to build a deck and then have it lose. You know, um, not only me, but you guys. You know, you don't want to invest dust into something that's not going to perform decently on the ladder for you. So, uh, so yeah. Oh, hi, 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 kitty. <laughs> My cat just came just to say hello. She's like, hello. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, let's see. So we got, um, this is a fantastic hand. We might toss Prince Relenthal, but it's a good turn three play. Uh, oh, actually, no, we want something for the Shivering Sorceress to discount, though, too. Although, I mean, that's kind of covered if we play the Suspicious Alchemist first. You know, so we got Alchemist, Shivering Sorceress, and then Prince Renathal. I, I like that plan. Um, you know, the Alchemist will give me a spell so the Sorceress can discount it. I, I like that. So, um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Prince Renathal, you know, triggers give me 40 health. Um, he has 40 health as well. So that's probably some kind of Beast Hunter. Oh, okay, I got the Drakefire Amulet. So that's going to be what's dis what's discounted anyway. Um, so do I lead with a 2-2 two -two rather than a 1-3? I think we probably do want to just keep the pressure on. Um, Beast Hunter is like... I don't know. In, in my eyes, you know, the current Beast Hunter is somewhere between a, like, slower mid-range deck and a just, like, very, like, swing swing like game plan where like they're trying to um just uh get insane advantage as quick as possible um you know so so almost like if they miss certain cards they won't do quite as well um i don't know if most people would agree with that sentiment but uh but i seem to think that's true we'll go ahead and ping down his peon um but no i i don't seem to think that's true i do think that's true is that they're trying to just get these, like, big swing turns and try to turn the game in their favor. Um, so we're just trying to avoid that. Um, I think we go ahead and drop Renathal here. Just just kind of... So the game plan when the enemy has nothing for you to interact with is to develop your own board. So you do have an answer when they do play something. So I'll go ahead and drop Renathal here. Uh, Wild Spirits. Okay. All right, that's fine. Um, so neither of those are waking up this turn. Um, so he got a bear, which is a 2-4, and then he got the stag, which is a 4-3. This thing got nerfed twice, <laughs> which is pretty pretty nuts, actually, that they had to nerf a wild seed twice. Um, it used to be a 5, f five attack, 4 health creature that gave a 4-2 bow. So they actually nerfed, nerfed the bow, and then they nerfed the stats on it because it was still too strong. <laughs> so that's just kind of wild to me. Um, we'll go ahead and grab a spell here. Um, build a snowman is really good. Um, then again, though, our, our, our turns kind of get full really quick here with the arcane overflow next turn. Um, you know, and then any turn after. So maybe, maybe we don't need the snowman. Maybe we get the rune of the archmage instead, just to get an absolute ton of value, um, in the, uh, in the mid game there. Um, which now we can play it on turn eight. So now we got seven, eight, nine, <laughs> which is just amazing. Um, but yeah, guys, I think we're doing insanely well so far, you know, and I mean, having a handful of spells doesn't really bother me. I mean, cause half my spells in my hand, um, being, uh, arcane overflow and dragon fire amulet, um, or <laughs> Drake fire amulet. It doesn't really matter. Drake dragon, you know, way. But, uh, oh, did he pick wrong? Yeah, he picked wrong. So, so he did not get the, uh, um, the rune of the Archmage there. So a little bit of a misplay for my opponent, but he couldn't have really known which one I picked. They were all decent options. Um, all right, let's see. So this turn, we're probably playing the Arcane Overflow. The question now is how big do I want my remnant to be that I get from this? So it can be... A six attack six health creature or it can be a four attack four health creature um, you know and it depends on which of these minions I hit um, so basically do I want to save a two two to get a smaller remnant I don't think so I, th I think I want to get the full remnant um, 
you know, because the bigger remnant I get, the better he can help at um, at board advantage. Um, as well, I mean, and our guy's dying isn't even that bad because we get the buffed Famished Fool in our hand. Um, which uh, which only needs two more things to die and then it'll be drawn three with this instead of just one. So, um, so I think we're in a fantastic position here. Hmm. So next turn, next turn is turn six. So I'm not going to be able to play my Flame Strike yet or anything on the left side of my hand pretty much. The Famished Fool might be, might be the play next turn. Um, okay, so Castle Kennels. Yep, he's going to go ahead and trade. That's fine. It does get his Rat King closer and closer to summoning. Um, and I mean, we can't trade this away to buff my Famished Fool either. Because there's nothing with high enough attack to trade into. Um, I mean, we could just play the Suspicious Alchemist here. Or maybe we just drop the Famished Fool for, for one draw. I mean, probably not. Because, I mean, we're so close to getting the full value out of it. And we're still at 35 health, so we're not really worried about dying. Um, so if we're not dropping that this turn, we're probably pinging this turn and like making that trade. But uh, but let's see what this spell gives us first. Seafloor Gateway, that's no good. I don't think I have any mechs in my deck at all. Um, no, I don't. No, that's a beast. That was my only question, is whether that was a beast or not. Um, because, I mean, it kind of looks like a, a mismatched robot, almost. Um, so, I mean, Cone of Cold, maybe? To just make sure I can get to my late game properly? Yeah? Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Why not? And, I mean, it's also something that is hard for my opponent to take advantage of, too. Um, which is something you want to look out for when you're taking spells that they might get. Um, with the Suspicious Alchemist, of course. So, I don't know. It's really going to come down to what he wants to pick and uh, and how well he handles all this extra pressure on him uh, to make the correct decision. Um, you know. Um, let's see. All right, so he did get this one? Yeah, he did, he did get this turn um, spell. So he did get the Cone of Cold. Um, he did also summon some creatures... But I think that's fine. We do have the flame strike. So how many? Oh, okay. So so. So yeah, that just needs two more minions to die, and then he summoned. So. Wait, two more friendly minions. Oh. oh. So I won't be able to hit him with the same flame strike then. Because if I I was thinking of throwing my two guys into the bat and then summoning that, you know, like thinking it counted my minions dying, but it doesn't. It only counts his minions dying. Um, hmm, what do I do here? Because, like, if I Flame Strike, he gets the Rat King up. And I think that's fine. You know, I really do. I think that's pretty fine. Um, and we're getting rid of 8 power on board for 7 mana, which I think is okay. And then, I mean, we do have the Rune of the Archmage as well to go ahead and play next turn and hope that it gives us even a better... Um, outcome. So yeah, I think we go ahead and flame strike. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and get rid of those three critters. Um, the Rat King does come back. I could soften him up if I wanted to, but I think we're just going to hit face because it's not really setting up for anything special by wounding the uh, Rat King or not here. So uh, so I'll just leave him. And then, uh, and then we'll see how the Rune of the Archmage will help me deal with whatever crazy board he happens to be able to summon here. Um... Okay, Death Rattle. Um, what is that? Death Rattle, draw a beast, right? Um, oh, no. Death Rattle, put a Sunken Saber on the bottom of your deck. Okay. That's fine. Um, so, the problem is, if we don't get a board clear off of this Rune of the Archmage, we're probably dead. Just because of how much power he has on board. That's my only hesitation here. Of just, just slamming the Rune and hoping for the best. Um... I think I'm supposed to hit this first as well. Just in case it's like deal three damage to everything. And then the damage goes to waste. Alright. Um, I think I still slam this though. Because my other options are fairly lackluster. I mean I can freeze his army in place. Uh, most of it anyway. With Kona Cold. Is that what I'm supposed to do here? I honestly don't think so. 
I think that's too slow for what he's attempting to do. Um, so in that case, I think we go with the rune and just hope for the best. Okay, Volcano Mancy, that's good. Okay, Ice Blood Tower, yeah, Snap Freeze. Okay, Deep Breath, okay. Freeze a minion, okay, killed it because it was already frozen, okay. First Flame, okay, nice. So that's going to clear the pretty much the entire board. Wow, look at that. So now we have a clear board, and then, uh, so this... <laughs> <laughs> and then that ice blood tower <laughs> pulled a frozen touch from my deck and hit him in the face with it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's always fun. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I don't know that. So, so the best draw for next turn would be to top deck Caligos. So I can play Caligos and get the free Drake fire amulet. Other than that, just dropping the Drake fire amulet on turn nine should be plenty of just, you know, in your face kind of, I'd win the game now kind of energy. So, um, so I don't know. We're going to hope, we're going to hope for that outcome. Uh, let's see, Ar Arlon, Ar Arlon. Um, that should be fine. I mean, they're, they're not, they're not really dangerous until the turn after they wake up. So I think we should be fine here. Um, we're going to go ahead and drop this amulet, I guess. Again, I think that's just the best play available. I still have 21 health, so I can absorb the shock of these two hitting me. For, for nine, you know, and then two more, so like eleven. I still have ten health, and he only has three cards in hand, and six mana to kill me. Oh no, seven mana to kill me next turn after hero power, and and everything's said and done with the location and everything. Um, I think that's fine. I don't think I don't think he's gonna be able to kill me. So let's see, Drake Fire Amulet. Let's go. Um, not a f not fantastic first choice, but I'll take Nose Durmu, of course. Um, and not a great secondary choice either. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and grab the, uh, we'll go ahead and grab the Azure Drake, I guess, for the extra spell damage, and it's the biggest crit critter out of all those. Um, see, so like, and then we deal three damage. I mean, that's, that's an okay card to pull right now. I mean, it did do something for me. It did soften up my creatures, too, but it did soften up his as well, which is kind of good, because I'm not walking around with, like, you know, a bunch of board clears in my hand at the moment. Um, this has been, like, a pretty back-and-forth game, honestly. Um, oh, King Crush. <laughs> okay. Well, that has got to either be frozen or killed um, this turn because that thing is just just getting out of hand. So, um, speaking of out of hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm holding seven cards. I got to draw three with this. And just kind of see if I get a better solution. Uh, oh, maybe Life Sentence on that would be fantastic. That way it doesn't even add to the Rat King waking up. Yeah, I think I think Life Sentence is ideal here. Um, and then we pretty much just pass the turn over. But at least then... Oh, let's go! Drake Fire Amulet triggers um, from my deck. Giving me two, um, two decent dragons. I mean, you know, I would have liked something bigger than a Fairy Dragon. But, uh, but that's okay, you know. I mean, you can't win them all. You can't, you know, always get massive dragons if the pool is, you know, big enough to accommodate um, little dragons too. Oh, he is getting some value out of my Cold of Cold. That kind of sucks, actually. But should be okay. Um, I think I think we're still good. I mean, I'll be able to Cone of Cold this turn if I want to. Um, well, let's see. Cold case, we'll gain some armor, get some skeletons. Uh, Nightcloak Sanctum to slow down his biggest creature. While we try to figure out what to do here. Um, but I think just like just kind of summoning some skeletons, you know, freezing some stuff in place, um, is just plenty of a good enough strategy at the moment. Because I mean, we only have fifteen health, so we got to start watching our health total here. Um, that's why I went ahead and played, uh, Cold Case that last turn, because it'll give me some armor and a couple creatures, um, so that way I don't have to choose between board development and, um, survival. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so we're just kind of seeing what this might turn up, of course. Um, okay, he pulled a Gargoyle out of his hand, which is just a 3-5 rush at the moment, because he didn't infuse it, of course. Um, 
I'm really hoping for like a flame strike, a deathborn, um, something of that nature. Um, and then that's not it. Um, even a fire sale would be fantastic here. Um, well, I mean, we can still do a lot though with this board at the moment. Um, huh. Okay. Plated beetle. Um, so what do we want to do? We probably want to freeze something. Um, I think we want to kill this. Right? I mean, well, okay, I think we want to draw first. So if I'm going to, well, let's see. So do I play the Azure Drake? Yeah, I play the Azure Drake no matter what, because then my Colnicold does two damage. So, oh, let's go. We drew the fire sail. All right, so. Um, the play now is going to be to, you know, deal with that, okay. And then, I mean, oh, and there we go. We were trying to draw out his, um, his creator there. Um, hmm. So, yeah, we want to kill that. In fact, I should have done it with these two guys, I suppose, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. We just got to drop that before we run out of time. But the whole play was to just clear his board so we don't die. That was the whole plan the whole time. Um, <laughs> I kind of ran out of time thinking about it, but we should be okay, hopefully. Oh, gee, never mind. Never mind. Five damage to face. Uh, wait, no, we're not dead. Wait, no, yeah, we are. Just, just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, that was a good first game, though. That was a good first game. We were like one or two turns away from just turning that into an absolute like win for us so uh, that's okay so we can definitely see how this deck kind of works um it's got removal it's got board pressure it's got finishers so really all you end up needing is to just you know mulligan for tempo and then play the value game you know what i mean so um so like, like, we're not really worried about throwing our cards away to tempo, um, if it means we stay alive. Uh, tasty thigh. So, like, thigh food. Or Thai food? It's, it said Thai food, I think. It's not thigh, it's Thai, I think. Um, you know, I'm not really familiar. I, I, I uh, never really tried that kind of food. I, I feel like I'd like it, too. Um, so let's see, do we... Hmm... I think we I think we just throw away the soul hand. I mean frozen touch is interesting. Um but against a mage, and I mean there's no way to infuse it um right off the bat. Like there's no guarantee I'm gonna draw any creatures. Um I think we throw it back. I think we throw it back. I, I mean, three mana on turn two, yes, it could clear something of my enemies. Um, but I'd much prefer to have, you know, something uh you know, something proactive to play like this line of Dredger Staff into Loot Hoarder or something of that effect. So, uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and play Dredger Staff. I mean, I, you know, in, in hands like these, Dredger Staff starts to look like one of the worst cards in the deck because I only buffed one creature. But, I mean, that will keep my Loot Hoarder from getting pinged to death. So, I mean, there is that. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and drop the Loot Hoarder, hit him in the face. And, I mean, this is going to be against a Quest Mage. So, my removal is going to be pretty much dead. Um, but that's the good thing about Deathborn is that it's not going to be entirely dead. Uh, I'm going to be able to trade my creatures for other creatures. Um, you know, like if the, if I have a bunch of skeletons laying around, I can Deathborn, get some more skeletons, get the death rattle trigger. Um, I think I do want the Drake fire amulet to get discounted. So I'm not going to trade it before the shivering sorceress. So I think I'm going to play the shivering sorceress, maybe trade the dragon fire amulet or the Drake fire amulet. Then the problem is I'm looking for something to play in the next few turns because I mean other than that I have I have removal so like removal 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 <laughs> and then like two cards so I mean I can and I'm playing this one this turn and this one is going to cost nine still so I want to trade this for some more playables in my upcoming turn um so yeah so we're gonna lower it down to nine we're gonna trade it off and see what we get Okay, Talon, that's a good that's a good pickup. Because uh, that means instead of spending our turn five, you know, pinging and passing, we uh, will get to develop our board state. Oh, that's right. He's going to have Prince Renathal at the very least. So, I mean, that's something we can use our removal on, um, I suppose. 
Um, Frozen Touch is repeated burn in this matchup. I don't think that's going to be super necessary. And it also fills in my mana um, to use it this turn to get rid of Renathal. Um, you know, and I mean, I, I didn't have to do that, but it felt like the right play because, um, I, you know, I don't expect to infuse the Frozen Touch this game. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He's going to be playing skeleton cards too, probably with the cold case and other things like that. So our removal isn't entirely dead. So, so here's the play, right? Here's the play I'm thinking of at the moment. So we hit him in the face with this because the death rattle from one of these might kill it. So we swing face, make sure we get the extra damage. We trade this into this. Death rattle triggers, death rattle has been in the face. Okay. So now, I mean, now the play could either be Arcane Overflow um, or Tail and Forging. Um, I think we play, I think we play the uh, Overflow. Because one, there's not going to be a whole lot of creatures to hit with it in this kind of deck. Because, you know, the quest stipulates that he has to have a certain amount of uh, spells in his deck. So, you know, uh, there's going to be minimal things to damage with that. Um, as he plays another creature. What, what is happening? <laughs> why does he... Why does he have so many creatures to play? Um, like, well, maybe he's just not running Refreshing Spring Water. Um, which is the main reason for them to only run spells. And not just like a mixture of spells and minions. Um, let's see. I mean, it's a 3-4. I could just toss down the Nightshade Sanctum, or Night Cloak Sanctum, and just, like, freeze it. I think I'm going to do that. Just freeze it, summon another creature, and, uh... Yeah, I'm just kind of play the Amplified Snow Flurry. I am just going to ping. Usually, I would save that ping, you know, because, again, there might be more pressing minions at some point. But, um, but actually, I like I like where this board is going so far. Okay, Blizzard comes down, stalls my units. Um, that's fine though, because um, because I mean we're still we're still holding Talon, you know, Shivering Sorceress, etc. Um, I think that's probably my line here, unless I Talon and then ping the snake. Do I do that? You know, soften up the snake so it trades more favorably with the Talon, for, for you know, or the Talon trades more favorably with the snake. I think I do. Um. Because, I mean, it's... Because if I have the mana left over now, I can ping him now. If I don't ping him now, then that m probably means I have to spend the mana later pinging him. Um, you know, because I don't want to spend, like, a whole flame strike to wipe out a snake. So, um, so that's my thought process behind that. Uh, fire sail. I mean, his creature would have survived and I would have still had to ping it. So, that works for me still. Um... Ooh, we draw Caligos for next turn. That is fantastic. I think um, this turn I'm going to spend it drawing to try to get the uh, Drake Fire Amulets to go with Caligos for next turn. I think that is the smart play. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. I mean, we did get a Flame Strike and a Deathborn. Uh, fire Sail we can trade off as well. I think we do that. I think we do that and look for... Oh, Plated Beetle wasn't what we were looking for, but that's okay. Still... Um, so, so here's a question. Do we use this now? The, the last of the Night Cloak Sanctum. We'd have to freeze one of our creatures, but then we get another skeleton. Um, but, the, so the main drawback is not only are we freezing our creature, but then we can't freeze one of their creatures. I think, I mean, I can always just do it next turn if I want to combo it with Deathborn. So I think we save it. Because if we don't save it, you know, we, we summon this extra skeleton, but then we don't get to save it for our Deathborn, um, you know, which will kill it, trigger the death rattle, and then summon another one. Um, so we'd rather save it for that combo, I believe. Okay, one damage to my 2-3. Okay. Oh, okay, he was mainly doing that to finish that part of the quest. Okay, makes sense. Drew a spell. Okay, what are we looking at? Fireball. Okay. Mage Secret. So that is probably Ice Barrier. If I had to guess. But I need to check that. Before they counterspell something. Very important of mine. 
So, so yeah, let's try that right now. Ice barrier. Yeah, there we go. Ice barrier. Okay. So, Caligos. So, now we can play Caligos, and we can play pretty much any spell we want. Um, the problem is, is that all these spells are removal. <laughs> we got, you know, mass removal, mass removal, mass removal, um, single target removal, mass removal. <laughs> but, I mean, this does discover something when it comes to play, so we're going to be looking for something we want to play right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> build a snowman is my first inclination here. I need some kind of recurring value in my hand. Um, you know, and I mean, we're already at 10 mana, so we're not really worried about, you know, having to spend this mana cost repeatedly. Plus, I mean, we can, we can cast this for free next turn if Caligos is still out there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think this is good. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. I mean, I could have done uh, Deathborn, <clears throat> but I think that would have helped him more than hurt me. Um, you know what I mean? Well, it, it would have helped him more than it helped me, is what I was trying to say. Mm. All right. All right, Kona Cold comes down on my snowman. That's perfectly fine. Ignite comes down on my snowman. So he's throwing a lot of resources at just killing like a little snowman. So what are you doing about the Caligos? Are you just going to let me keep it? He just lets me keep it. Okay. That works for me. Uh, I'll play build a snow brute. And I mean, let's see. What else are we doing this turn? I mean, trade the, trade the fire sale maybe? So we could so we could trade the fire sale, play the shivering sorceress, and play the build a snogger all this turn. I think that's a fantastic play. I really do. I think, um, I think that's a fantastic play. Let's trade to make sure that's what we want to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So shivering sorceress, and then into build a snogger sounds fantastic. We just want to kind of pressure while we're in the lead here. Um, again, I'm not. I'm gonna save this. Um, for potential com combo with Deathborn. You know? Um, because, like, he's going to summon some skeletons eventually. Oh, Mass Polymorph. Ooh, that's a, that's big yuck. I did not expect that. But I still think we're doing good. I, I still think we're doing good. We do still have the Azure Drake, Cold Case, um, you know, to go ahead and summon more creatures. And he is running out of cards. I mean, he's down to three cards. Reckless Apprentice. Okay, that's going to kill off all the sheep. Doesn't really matter, though. I mean, they're just little 1-1s. One I, I had no intention of buffing them. Um, so, I mean, that's perfectly fine. The... Hmm. So now... Now I think I do freeze that. Um, with my location. Or... <laughs> now hear me out. Or... <laughs> <laughs> or get in with the arcane overflow and uh, summon a 4-4 elemental and kill this creature. Which I think is amazing. Uh, let's also Nightcloak Sanctum them still, though, because that way I don't have to freeze my own creature just to get a... just to get a skeleton. Okay, there we go. So we went ahead and summoned another mid-sized board, you know, to kind of pressure him. Um... You know, I mean, yeah, there we go. Draw some cards. Why not? Um, you know, and I mean, I don't know. We still have all this removal. Still. <laughs> um, Deathborn, you know, could deal three damage to all minions if he happens to summon a bunch of skeletons or something. Uh, oh, there, there we go. I mean, but that could be Counterspell, though. I got to check for that. I got I to gotta make sure that's Ice Barrier before I go ahead and attack. I don't think they run Counterspell, but you can never be too sure. It is an Arcane Spell. If they needed more arcane spells. So let's go ahead and attack with this. Okay, so it's not ice barrier. It's most likely counter spell. It could be objection, but I think it's counter spell. So with that in mind, what do we want it to counter? Uh flame strike. But I also don't want to like go out of my way to counter either. Like just just for the counter. Um I mean, I guess we do, though, because otherwise, what is it countering in my hand? Like, all the rest of these cards are, like, situationally useful. Uh, Flamestrike is going to be the hardest card to get value out of in this matchup. 
So, I mean, I am going to go ahead and... Well, let me, let me attack first, just to make sure I don't lose any damage. And then I'm going to Flame Strike. If it goes through, that's fine. If it doesn't, then I'm glad it got countered and not something else. Okay, it went through. So, that means it's probably Explosive Runes? I mean, this is so confusing. Why would you... I don't know. Alright. Well, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm really confused. I'm misreading this now. And and he does have the spring water, even with all these minions in his deck. I am very confused. Well, I mean, he doesn't even have that many minions. But, like, look, he had he had the Reckless Apprentice. I'm assuming that's at least two. He had he had a Rust, Rust Rot Viper, which wouldn't be ridiculous to have only one, but it could also be two. Then he also had Prince Renathal, which he kind of had to for the extra health. You know, like, I don't know. That's just a lot. And then, you know... Um, oh, well, he got that from completing the quest. But um, but still, that's still, like, a decent amount of minions for, like, a... You know, for a deck that you don't want to ruin your refreshing spring water. Um, hmm. Okay, what are, you, what are you trying to do there? Okay, Ruined Orb. Deal to four damage. Discover a spell. So this is where it's gonna be. It's gonna start to become really tough to get established on board. Um, I mean, it was already tough, but like now, you know, more so. Um, hmm, I think I do life sentence that, and just get a thag out because an extra seven seven is not what I want to be dealing with right now. Um, and I mean, if I do that, then I still have six mana for the snowger, or the snow snow brute. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's, um, let's go ahead and life sentence this. Goodbye. And, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, play our big snow dude and start to really, you know, represent close to lethal if he can't start, uh, dealing damage here. Um, I could have went ahead and instead of playing the snow brute, I could have went for like, you know, a, uh, um, a deathborn there, but, uh, but we'll see. Okay, what are you going to do? Ignite? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so Ignite. That's going to clear my board. Um, I don't know. So, like, this is getting tougher and tougher and tougher to get established. But, but, are you following me? But, we still have Drake Fire Amulet. So, let's go ahead and pop one of these. Uh, Nazdormu, the Eternal, is fantastic. Hela? 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 I don't know. How, do you, how are you supposed to say this card's name? <laughs> anyway, either way, that is definitely the pick. Whenever you see that, you pretty much want it because it makes all your spells deal plus four damage randomly split amongst all enemies. So, if he leaves that alive, we could probably nuke him to death with the with the rest of the spells we have. Um, You know, I mean, it, at the very least, it's possible. So, let's see. First Flame. That's potentially a counterspell. Again, um... Do we think that's a counterspell? I don't think so. I don't think so. He, he already showed one Ice Barrier. He already showed, you know... Um, you know, so he showed an Ice Barrier. He did not show a counterspell. Um, and, I mean, so, so this would be in addition to whatever this other thing is. You know? Um, I think it's Explosive Runes, honestly. Like, because Oasis Ally doesn't really even make sense in that deck. Um, so what do I want to do here? If that's not Counterspell, what is my course of action here? Cold Case. Um, cold Case, Deathborn, and just try to go for the kill. Between the Skeletons, Death Rattles, and, and the Dragon, and... Yeah, I, I think... Well, I don't even know how much damage that is, honestly. That is a lot of damage, no matter what, though. So, let's go ahead and do that. Oh! It was counter Oh, you... Oh, my gosh. That is so obnoxious. I... <laughs> Why do you have so many different secrets in your deck? Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Oh! And there we go. There's explosive runes, but it doesn't make as big of an impact on my health total because of the death rattle. So, like... Oh, jeez. So, he had counter spell... He had explosive runes, and he has ice barrier, at the very least, in terms of secrets. That is wild. That is a very, like, just wide smokish board of just, <laughs> just all kinds of spells.
Okay. Oh, yeah, one of them was a recast secret. Okay, but it wasn't counterspell, though, because the cause the arcane spell he got was um, was arcane intellect. Okay, ignite. Yeah, okay. I think we do lose this one now, because, like, getting countered on that turn literally was probably life-saving for him. Like, just, just countering that play I had lined up. I think that was life-saving for him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to fire off the next Drake Fire Amulet and just hope that's enough. But, I mean, I don't really like where this is going, really. Um, I'm, I'm very concerned. Um, all right, let's see. So so we do get uh, Halle, or however you say that. Um, and, I mean, I think I do go ahead and jam Nas here just to represent as most damage as possible. Um... You know, again, we're just one turn away from just firing off with all these spells. Um, and, you know, dealing a massive amount of damage. Um, Siphon mana. Okay, that's going to reduce the cost of spells in his hand by one. But he only has three of them at the moment. So that can't have been much of a mana cost discount. You know, as much as he would like. Uh, okay, Frozen Touch. Deal five damage. Okay. Still have seven health. How are you going to navigate this? Three damage. Okay. Okay. Siphon mana. So, wait. Why would you want that honorable kill instead of your hero power? That has to be a misplay. Because you want that hero power leveling up. Um, let's see. So, I mean, what is my play here? Just Snogger? And just hope we can hit him in the face? Um, hmm. we're a far cry from getting this infused enough. And I mean, not that we really even want to draw that much. We only have 14 cards left. Um, so I mean, do we go Loot Hoarder into Deathborn? That way we, well, no, no, because Deathborn doesn't spawn any skeletons by itself, right? Yeah, so it doesn't spawn anything. So it would literally just kill this and give me a 2-2. Two -two. Which I don't think is enough. So we probably just play the Snogger. Yeah. Yeah, we probably just play the Snogger. And that's also not Explosive Rooms. So that is Ice Barrier. So we do have to look at, you know, taking an extra... What? Him taking an extra 8 health to kill. So Arcane Burst. I mean, that does bring me down to a 9-3. Hmm... Life Sentence, okay. Um, again, not something we need at the moment. Um, I do think we need to get that out of out of uh, Honorable Kill range, though. This. So how do we do that? I'm not really sure. But I think we might even trade here. Um, what else is he going to have in his deck? Oh, that's right. He's going to ignite me to death because that's what they used to do. Um... With that kind of deck, with the, with the spell damage stacking and the ugh, um, that's okay. So we're not even really worried about the hero power then, because he already has a plan to win with the ignites. I think we just hit face because it's better not to, because I'm hitting him for nine. Um, so he'll be minus one, even including the ice barrier. Um, the question is, what else to do? What else to do? Um. I think I play the Famished Fool. I do not have time to, you know, um, to just, you know, to try to win this. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we're just going to try to take that. We're running out of time. All right. All right. I'm just going to go for it. So that decision on what spell to take, I was honestly unsure. Um, I mean, there were a plethora of good options. The best option was build a snowman, though. I'm fairly certain. So, yeah, so he picked the snowman as well. It's not going to matter, I don't think. Yeah, it's not going to matter because I'm holding a flame strike. So, I mean, even if he does, you know, summon these snowmen, um, I'm just going to wait for them to all accumulate. I get it? Accumulate snowman. <laughs> um... <laughs> 
Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna wait for them to all accumulate together and uh, and go ahead and, and cast the flame strike. So it really doesn't matter too much. Um, the thing is too is that Renethal is actually actively keeping him from winning the game at this point. Because if he had 10 less cards, he would already have the Ignites right here, and he would just have to keep casting them and kill me. Um, so, that's just a kind of funny thing to notice. Um, huh. So, what I can do is I can Deathborn and get three skeletons out of it. No, wait, only two, right? Only two skeletons? But that's still pretty good. Um... Yeah. Yeah, so I think we're going to Deathborn for two skeletons. Okay, there we go. Skeleton gang. So, he does have explosive runes, so I'm not even going to bother playing Prince Renathal. Um, okay, Forensic Duster. Again, I really don't... I'm really not going to be able to rely on my creatures here. Uh, Mage Secret. Okay. All right. If he pings the three health creature there, though, it's actually a bad move for him. Okay. Um, or actually, maybe it would have been a good move. But just, if he's missing on these, then it's a bad move. So that is probably his second counterspell. Because he only played one so far. Counterspell, right? Yeah, one counterspell. So that's probably his other counterspell. Probably his other counter spell, and the other one's explosive runes. Yeah, so that's probably a counter spell. So, how do we want to deal with a counter spell? the The idea is I can't have him counter Deathborn, so I guess he has to counter one of these Build a Snowman's or the Life Sentence. I think. Well, I might need the Life Sentence for the nine nine that he's about to summon. Um. Yeah, so I guess, I mean, and it would take way too long to get the value out of both these snowmen anyway. So, oh gosh, this is like, this is more complicated than I expected it to be, for sure. Okay, well here, counter that. Yeah, yeah, counter that. I'm going to hit you in the face. I am going to, I can't do that because I don't have the mana. So here, I'm just going to play this. There we go. Get my triggers. Get my snowmen. I mean, get my skeletons. And I mean, that's going to put us in the best position to win this game. I mean, just navigating that second counter spell. Oh my god! Yo, how did we win that? Oh my gosh. Okay. So, <laughs> that was so stressful. Oh my gosh. So, like, navigating that second counter spell and just kind of, like, thinking through my turns to just dodge that, like, that counter spell and I'm holding all these really expensive spells and, you know, that are really important for me winning. Oh, that was just, that was just intense. Um... But yeah, um, let's go ahead. It's actually been 48 minutes. I have no idea how I'm going to like narrow that down. I might even just upload it as 48 minutes because that was just insanity. And uh, and I really want people to see that this deck can go the distance with, you know, with later game strategies without just outright losing. So, uh, so yeah, thank you for joining me um, here today, guys, for some budget Hearthstone. I would have played a third game, but that second game took so, so, so dang long that literally <laughs> I had no idea it was going to ever take that long. But, uh, but yeah, here we are on the other end of it, <laughs> you know, um, another win, um, down the drain. So, uh, I'm not down the drain. Wait, that sounds horrible. Um, another win accrued, um, from, uh, from ranked ladder with a budget deck. So, um, so yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, definitely tell me your experiences with this deck um, and or, you know, um, I don't know, just just how, how you think this deck will work. And then, you know, maybe go ahead and give it a try yourself. I mean, it's very cheap to make. Um, and uh, yeah, please, please, please let me know how it works. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you. <laughs>